super easy video. Country fried potatoes, we're gonna put them all on the flat top grill. All right, so let me tell you what I got going on. Super easy video today. I do not think sides in general get enough credit, okay? We always put the burgers, we put the fajitas, we put everything on there, steaks. But nobody ever talks about sides. Let me tell you what my family's doing today. They're on the way over right now, okay? We're just having like little get together, nothing important. One cousin's bringing homemade meatloaf. I got an aunt that's bringing pinto beans with a ham left over from Thanksgiving. I got my other aunt bringing macaroni and cheese and baked beans. Dad's bringing uh, homemade collard greens. I've got cornbread in the oven two different ways, one with a jalapeno and cheese. I know you guys ain't here for that. But I told them, why don't I make country fried potatoes? And they lit up like Christmas trees, right? So when I was young, this is how my grandmother made it. There are a thousand different ways that you can make these, but there's only one way that we like to make them. You ready? Let's get going. All right. Flat top's not even started yet because I'm going to try something different today. I'm anxious to see how far we can take this. You've heard of parboiling before. What is parboiling? It basically means cook it a little bit in a nutshell, right? You want to cook it about halfway. Um, and that's what we're going to do today. So what typically you would do is put this in a pot of water, bring it up to a boil, and cook these potatoes until they were um, like halfway cooked. Bring them back out and you can do whatever you want to with them. Why do you do that? It just speeds up the process. What we're doing today a little bit different. As you can see, they're full of water. I'm gonna go ahead and drain the water out, not a big deal. Now that I've drained my potatoes, the reason why I had them soaking the water to get all that starch off, put your potatoes in a bowl after you've cut them. If you keep the skins on, that's up to you. I like the skins. Uh, you just wanna fill them up with water. You'll start, start seeing that uh, water get cloudy. That's the starch releasing from the potatoes. Just make sure you rinse it clean, okay? All right, here we go. Cold potatoes right on a Cold flat top. See that? Whoo! Whoo, that's a lot of potatoes. Five pounds. Got a big family. I'm just gonna try to spread these out evenly. All right, so what I got going on, I just dumped the potatoes all on the flat top. Don't worry about the rest of the leftover water. It's gonna evaporate. I don't think there's gonna be a problem. This is the raw uncooked potatoes. So the method here is that now we're gonna par boil, par cook, pre-cook our potatoes before we get to the frying process. If you go ahead and flour these potatoes now while they're really hard and not cooked, your flour is gonna darken and burn too much before your potatoes cooked. So this is the method behind the madness. Par boiling, par cooking our potatoes before we start frying them. Once we start frying them, we take them off the flat top, let our flat top preheat a little bit hotter. We got our flour ready, and we're gonna put one of those big old white, sweet yellow onions in there too to help all the flavor. Whew. You gotta stay tuned. All right, it's been exactly 10 minutes. You can see the moisture starting to escape the potatoes. So now what we're gonna do, I haven't added any oil or anything like that. I don't want them to get browned or anything like that. We're just trying to cook them a little bit to get that rawness knocked off. So when we go to fry, like I said, we're not burning the flour. Okay, so I have a question. Why did you not preheat the flat top? Why did you just put the cold potatoes on the cold flat top? That's a good question. Caught me off guard. Two reasons. One, typically when you parboil a potato, you put it in cold water before you put it on the stove. Uh, the reason is, majority of times when people cut potatoes, they cut them in different sizes. So the idea is, once everything's in the pot and it comes up to temperature and then it starts to boil like you'd boil mashed potatoes, then your potatoes have a chance to uh, cook evenly. So you don't have a big potato that's raw and a small potato that's overcooked or undercooked or overcooked at that point. So the same idea, there's actually two folds for the flat top grill. That's the same idea with this. I wanted to start at zero degree or at the zero mark. And the second thing was, we just posted a video yesterday, ironically, or a couple days ago, with potatoes uh, and the theme was, does your flat top grill temperature matter? Well, I mentioned in there that the amount of food that you cook matters, the density of the food matters. This is the prime example of basically that video. So you preheat your flat top grill and you get it going, then all of a sudden you put a whole flat top grill worth of potato, five pounds of potatoes on there. That's probably with cold water, 40, 45 degrees, maybe somewhere through there. It's gonna shock your flat top grill. It's gonna drive all that temperature down that you just worked hard to preheat. 
And if you drain it and let the flat top grill preheat with the potatoes on it, then it's gonna actually save you time in the long run because once it preheats, it's also warming up this food product. Good question. All right, guys, it's been about 20 minutes. See how I'm starting to get some color on the potato? So we're just gonna take that right off. Remember, these are not done by any stretch of the imagination. All right, griddle temp wise, shoot about 450, somewhere through there. Whew. All right. If you guys have followed me in the past, you know I do not like to season my flour. I think it's a waste of seasoning. So what we're gonna do, start allowing that to come up to temperature. Let's go and put our, today I'm using ghee. This just clarified butter. Now, what if you don't have ghee? You can use butter, you can use anything you want to. Um, whatever you're going to use, make sure you got something to get it out with. Why did you decide to go with ghee today? I don't know, I've been doing some research. I have to switch up my diet. Some people swear up and down that avocado oil might not be the healthiest thing to heat up. Some people swear up and down by clarified butter. We already had it in the pantry. So, I don't know, I'm just switching it up a little bit. Heck, use Crisco, use olive oil, or vegetable oil, it doesn't really matter. All right, got that down. So we're gonna start doing it in batches. It's just easier for me to do, okay? So maybe one, two, can you see with all the steam, three batches? Yeah. All I'm doing, I got a little spotter here, right? Just coat them and that's it. Shake the excess off. Make sure they have plenty of space. You don't want to overcrowd it. To be honest with you, I didn't think five pounds of potatoes was going to be enough. And my griddle looked pretty crowded, so we'll see. All right, just try to get an evil, uh, evil, <laughs> even coat. I just had to move these over a little bit. So now that that's down, I'm just going to go ahead and season them up. Add the seasonings you like. What are you using? Today on the list, I got black pepper, garlic powder, seasoned salt, and regular salt. I like mine a little bit peppery. I'm gonna do a mix of regular salt and seasoned salt. Don't ask me why, just, I don't know. Just feel like it today, I guess. Woo, it smells like one of them fairs. You smell it? Feels like when you go to Dollywood or some kind of like fair when they got those potatoes and sausages and all that stuff on the flat top. Ooh, it smells good. Since there's so many options, guys, you could do this for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, it don't matter. Tell me some of the methods you guys use, especially for that country cooking. You guys can use like a lard. You guys can use like bacon trimmings. You guys can use anything. All right. Now the flat top's been seasoned, come back in with these onions. I know what you're thinking, why you put raw onion on there? Because these onions will cook and cook and cook with potatoes, okay? So that's one onion or? Yes, one large sweet onion. What you wanna do, I know it seems like a lot of flour, this stuff will cook off. Look, starting to get that golden crust. Move them to one side. Throw a little bit more oil down. You don't have to overdo it. Ye, oil, or butter. Anything you want. Anything you want. Butter would probably be pretty tough just considering the smoke point. We're probably getting up there pretty high. Just interested to see. Yeah, we're shooting in the, in the middle of 400s right now, so butter would probably burn at this point. So you might want to offset it with a little bit of oil, but you can definitely use butter for flavor if you offset it like half butter, half oil. Hey, just to let you know, my cousin that was make, making the meatloaf just showed up. Oh, son, I have a little snip bit for everybody else got here. So are you just getting the excess flour off right now? Yes. This is, you know, I, I, I try to practice what I preach. I tell you all the time, get the bigger flat top, move the stuff over and clean as you go. This is a perfect example. Typically we don't film this, but it's a short video, so why not? The whole process is 
basically all this stuff is just junk. It's just gunk that's going to adhere to your flat top. It's the burning of the flour, the leftover flour. So what I do, I just move everything off and just move everything back over. It just helps the cleanup process. Guys, if you'd have been here two minutes earlier, you just seen me cracking up. I had tears in my eyes. My wife said, Lord, we know that she can't cook. God bless her soul. She said, uh, she goes, well, how do you know if they're done? I said, just test them. She goes, well, what are you going to test them with? You need a thermometer? I said, Amy, just pick one out and test them. She goes, well, how do you know if they're seasoned? I just went and re-seasoned them with everything. More pepper, more salt, more garlic. She said, well, I don't understand. Like, how do you do it? I said, Amy, just pick one up and eat it. Oh! All right. We're good. Now, listen, you can do this unbreaded, un- um, Floured. That's just the way my family likes us. That's why we did it. Cut that bad boy off. There you go. Season them up. Fry them up. Look at all them charred onions. Mm. I'm going to tell you what. It don't matter if you got a country fried dinner or breakfast. You can put some sausage gravy over it with some over easy eggs. Oh, yeah. That'd be good with some over easy eggs. And country ham. A little mm. sprinkle of cheese. Mmm. So you mentioned you could do it without the flour. So you would do just everything the same way, mm -hmm. except you just wouldn't, so you would still like par you would, cook them. You wouldn't need a reason to par cook. You would just put the potatoes on there on low, turn your flat top on, let it come up to temperature so you're not dropping that temperature, and then adjust your temperature accordingly. Add your, uh, you know, your butter, your ghee, your oils, whatever you want to add. You can add peppers. Heck, we're thinking about st things that you can make. Peppers, onions, chorizo sausage, country ham. I mean, the options are endless. It's basically just... Once again, showing the versatility of flat top. We didn't even make an entree. Everybody else is bringing everything. All I'm responsible for is cornbread and country fried potatoes. We made it the way that our family likes it. Speaking of cornbread, can I just interject? If you like cornbread, you have got to go check out our video for, what is it, like cast iron, like fried cornbread. It is incredible. I don't like You know what we could do? We could put the cornbread so on the griddle. Oh. Griddle cakes. Ooh. Oh, another video idea. But yeah, seriously, if you like cornbread, mm -hmm. you have got to try his cornbread. I guess there's really no like big bite. There's no big reveal. It's just potatoes. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Do something different. Smash the notification button. Cook some potatoes on the grill. Switch it up a little bit and come up with something awesome. Peace. Mm. Nuggets are like gold, man. Mm. Mm. Mm.